Welcome back to another episode of Saucy Rossi's Barbecue Kitchen. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to cook an entire chicken on your kettle grill. Kettle grills are some of the most commonly available charcoal barbecues, and they're very easy to use. Some people can feel overwhelmed, though, using a kettle grill, so I always recommend either starting with a whole chicken or pulled pork. So for today, I'm going to show you how to spatchcock a chicken and cook it on your kettle grill. We're going to start this process by using our shears and removing the chicken's spine. To begin, you want to find just the tail and cut right along the edge of the spine. It runs right up the back, starts between the legs at the bottom, and ends between the wings at the top. Then, once you've cut a full length up, fold open the chicken. It's a little bit easier to kind of get the spine cut out when you have it folded open, in my opinion. Now I strongly suggest you don't throw out the spine. You can save it for soup broth or other types of cooking later. It adds great flavor and depth when you use it. Now I personally also do this extra step of removing this extra bone and cartilage from the center of the chicken, but I can't emphasize this enough. This is not required. You can easily cook this with this piece in and then just remove it after. It's also easy to do that. All right, so now that we've got things prepared, it's time to get the seasoning going. The first thing we want to do is kind of make space under the skin on both of the breasts as well as both of the legs. And we're going to put our seasoning in there. So for this, I'm using the Barbecue Pip Boys uh, Texas Rub. Uh, and I'm just going to pour a little bit in each of those cavities as well as the cavities down here by the legs. So the trick is just stick your finger in under the skin. Be gentle. Don't pull too hard but it should separate from the meat. And that little separation is going to be where our seasoning is gonna go. So again, we're gonna put some dry rub under the skin and then also some butter. So as it cooks, the butter kind of melts down into the meat, also helps crisp the skin up from below. I can't emphasize this enough. Do be gentle here. Chicken skin is not the strongest and can easily rip. And then once it's ripped, butter can flow out. You know, it can make a little bit of a mess, so yeah. Anyway, go right ahead and pour your rub into these cavities. Then get your hand in there and spread it around. The most crucial piece of this step is just simply making sure that the rub is actually evenly distributed underneath the skin. Make sure you don't have any large clumps of rub. That can be unpleasant to bite into if it's all concentrated in one area. But yeah, it's pretty simple. Just get in there, spread it around, shake the chicken a little bit. It will move in. It will, it will do what it needs to. And last but not least, we're going to add some butter. So go ahead and stick that butter right into the crevice. And then massage it out. Flatten it out and make sure it's also evenly distributed. Just like the dry rub. We're going to go and put a clump in on each leg as well as each breast. Butter will really help you get a good crispy skin on the chicken. So it's also a really good idea to rub down the top as well. And even flip over and make sure a little bit of butter gets on the underside as well. A little bit of butter never hurts anything. And then once you've got it all covered in butter, let's go ahead and finish up by just adding another quick layer of dry rub on the outside. We'll start by putting a light layer on the bottom then giving the bird a flip and then finishing off that skin with a nice quick layer again. Yeah, doesn't that look fantastic? I'm excited to cook this. As you can see here, I'm using two charcoal baskets. They're configured around the perimeter in a V shape. The reason I'm doing this is to allow the chicken to sit on the grill without any direct heat underneath it. This is gonna let the kettle grill work its magic. A kettle grill is a convection oven. So by setting it up this way, we're gonna allow the heat to circulate around the chicken as it cooks. <laughs> by the way, you can see me trying to tuck in my wing tips. You'll see in a split second why. Uh, they crisped up almost right away. So here's the chicken after about 10 minutes. Uh, it's starting to cook. The skin is starting to firm up. Things are looking good. Those tips are looking a little crispy, but what can you do? Then this is the chicken after 20 minutes. The skin is really starting to get a nice crisp to it. The thighs, the breasts, they're both cooking through. Still not up to temp, but it's looking great so far. We're coming up on about 25 minutes in our cook. 
So I decided it'd probably be a good idea to rotate the chicken. I always start with the legs facing the heat. However, the breasts weren't cooking as fast here. So I wanted to give it a turn just to let that end catch up. Now, since it's chicken, we want to make sure it's cooked properly. We're looking for an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. A lot of people do ask me how long it takes to cook food, but it's really important to know that it's more about the temperature and making sure that the food is cooked properly. So in our case, both the chicken breast and the legs are now past 165. It's up to temp and we can pull this chicken off the grill. But I can't emphasize this enough. The last thing you wanna do is eat undercooked chicken. So get yourself a thermometer and make sure things are the right temperature. So the total cook time ran about 45 minutes. I got the chicken up above 165. I believe the legs were at about 170, 175. This is the final product, a fully cooked chicken, ready for you and your family to enjoy. It's really easy to make this into a full dinner at this point. All you have to do is cut up those thighs, the chicken breasts, even the wings, and then serve it up. I made a nice Caesar salad and roasted some potatoes. And this turned out to be a fantastic meal both my wife and I enjoyed. I hope this video helped you out making dinner tonight. If it did, make sure you drop a like and a subscribe. Take care.